Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at Green's theorem when we have a conservative vector field. Here again, we have Green's theorem on the board, and we realize that if the vector field over which we're going to do a line integral is a conservative vector field, then the complete loop line integral along, along a complete loop of f dot dr must equal zero. So if we express our vector field as p in the i direction plus q in the j direction, where p is a function of x and y and q is a different function of x and y, then we can say that this expression, which we have over here, can be written as p dx plus q dy integrated over a curve. Now, if we pick a conservative vector field, and here's a simple conservative vector field, and we evaluate this portion of Green's theorem, the right side of the equal sign right there, you'll see how interesting that then becomes. Because if the left side is going to be equal, then of course the right side must be equal as well with Green's theorem. So let's go ahead and evaluate this. So this becomes equal to the double integral over the region enclosed by the line integral of the partial with respect to x of q, now q here is x, minus the partial with respect to y of p, and in this case p is equal to y, times dA, and I think you're beginning to see where we're getting. So this here, that would be equal to 1, so the double integral over the region of 1 minus, and this is of course also equal to 1 times dA, which is equal to the double integral of 0 dA over the region, and of course that is equal to 0. So you can see that Green's theorem can be used to find out if your vector field is conservative or not by evaluating this portion of the Green's theorem, the partial with respect to x of q minus the partial with respect to y of p, and if that is equal to 0, then you know you have a conservative vector field. So again, Green's theorem can be used for a number of things, including determining whether or not your vector field is conservative or not. And that's how it's done.